Hey guys, how are you? Good afternoon, it's Pastor Tony. God bless you and I love you guys so very much. I know it's been a while since I've been on, put up a video. It's, well, two and a half years. And of course, a lot has gone on. I am back in Southern California now. And uh, looks like my last video, I was in LA. And uh, came back down to a little farther south and been here. And now, of course, we are in the COVID thing. It's been exactly a year since we're dealing with this whole COVID situation. And um wasn't really sure exactly what I was going to say about it. I'm going to let the Holy Spirit lead me on that. Um, really just wanted to come on here and say, howdy. <clears throat> let you know I'm still around. Obviously, we're still here. We're waiting for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come back for us. Um, the good thing is, you know, with this whole COVID crap, is it's very exciting as far as end times go. Uh, we are at the precipice. We are seeing things that nobody has ever seen. Um to you Christians that are in the know and you have the Holy Spirit, you know for a fact that this whole COVID thing is um, the beginning of, of course, the control and the mark, the beast, of course, because they have to control you, you know. And, um, you know, now they have shown that they can control us with a tiny little 4% mortality flu virus. <clears throat> they can shut down the entire economy. And um, there've already been there have already been politicians saying stuff like, unless people get the vaccine, hint, hint, wink, wink, or chip, you can't get your stimulus money. You're not gonna be able to get your unemployment money unless you have been vaccinated and or chipped wink wink nod nod so of course we all know this is the very beginning and it all has to happen um kind of exciting that it's happening in my lifetime always kind of just knew it was going to happen not out of some type of morbid curiosity or you know i don't know delusional grandeur thinking i'm awesome enough to be in the rapture, but more just like a, I know it, I know it. And so the Lord's coming back and he'll come back in his time when the father tells him to. Till then we just have to keep enduring, keep going, keep pushing and, um, you know, watch Israel. Of course, that's always the key. And, um, remember that, uh, he is coming. So, you know, even if you get discouraged, and I do all the time, hence, I haven't made a video in two and a half years. <clears throat> we have to remember it's in his time. It's about him, not us. And God's time is not our time. So we just have to be patient and, and know that it, it, it really is, it's all about him and it's all for his glory and restoring us back to the kingdom. So um, I'm going to leave comments open, I think. Just say hi. I wanted to just come on here, a little quick five-minute video. And um, that's it. Let's see what else is going on. Um, yeah, just like most folks, I am trying to do the best I can, getting through this whole COVID, COVID thing. And... Um, you know, just listen to your heart. And of course, we have to abide by the rules down here because, you know, the Bible says, even if you don't agree by the rules and the people that are governing the rules, it's all set in place by the man upstairs. So don't think he doesn't know what he's talking about or what he's doing. So, you know, he used the Babylonians, you know, to <laughs> spank the Jewish people and set them straight again. And, you know, he used the Egyptians to spank the Jews again and set them straight. So sometimes he uses all kinds of things. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Anyway, I love you guys. 
and um, hoping to see you in heaven pretty soon. But it is pretty exciting times. Not talking from a healthcare stance because I just don't believe this coronavirus is no big deal. Uh, I've had it, my girlfriend had it, my dad had it. My dad's a farmer, he had coronavirus <clears throat> and farmed through the coronavirus. I had it and it was like a cold, it was no big deal. Um, both me and my girlfriend are like, was that the coronavirus? Do you think we had it? Is that it? It's no big deal. Um, spiritually, pray to the Lord. I personally am not getting this vaccine. I don't trust the government. I don't trust the one world order. I don't trust the new world order. I don't trust the Illuminati. And I sure as hell don't trust Satan. So, do what you do for you, but always in everything you do, take it to the Lord in prayer and uh, ask for your prayers and your thoughts to be guided in the name of Jesus and they will be guaranteed. So I love you church. God bless you guys so much. Leave comments and um, take care. Bye.